My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to give you my full review of the Roswell Kolaris. So this is Roswell's new flagship microphone. It was announced at Summer NAM this year in Nashville and is shipping now. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone, uh, cardioid only. It's got a 10 dB pad and a three-way high-pass filter switch as far as the features on this microphone. Uh, one of the first things that you'll notice is that I will say this mic looks a lot better in person. It's got a very nice copper finish and pictures of it, it looks more orange. Uh, it's a very stunning microphone to see in person. Uh, you definitely want to see this uh, in person. And inside the box, you get a shock mount as well as a mic cover, which I found really nice because you shouldn't leave your microphones up on mic stands, but the mic cover that it comes with allows you to uh, place it over the microphone if you choose to leave this up on the stand. And I've been using this mic for the past few weeks in the studio, and this is definitely a microphone you're going to want to leave on your mic stand. Uh, the shock mount that it comes with is my favorite shock mount to use. Very simple to use. You just place the mic inside the shock mount and screw it tight. Uh, there's no you know, weaving the mic through elastic bands. Uh, this is the easiest shock mount that I've used. And and made it really easy to set up and get going uh, with the Kolaris. Uh, we're going to look at some examples here on uh, some female vocals I recorded, some rap vocals, bass, and uh, saxophone. And so describe a little bit of the sound of the Kolaris. It's inspired by an Elam 251, which is a microphone that I've always wanted to use. I've never used one before. The microphone is a very hefty mic coming in at right under two pounds, uh, but it's, it's a hefty mic and it has a lot of tone, a lot of character, very rich and full sounding. It has an output transformer and has a very high output as well to where you don't need to use as much gain from your preamps uh, to push this microphone. Uh, so let's get into some examples and uh, we'll start with some female vocals. So the first example we'll look at here are some female vocals. This is a singer-songwriter here in Nashville named Simone Curry. I'll put her Instagram here so you can check her out. Uh, this is a cover song uh, for the song Stay. And the vocal chain for this vocal is the Kolaris going into a Rupert Neep Designs 511 Pre with no silk to keep it on the cleaner side. And then going into a Inwards Connections Brute limiter uh, just for a little bit of compression while tracking. Uh, you can see here in the session I have zero processing on the vocal. Uh, I do have a little bit of uh, reverb and delay on the vocal. Um, so let's take a listen to this and uh, we'll discuss it afterwards. Stay. Waiting for the time to pass you by. change will change your mind I could give a thousand reasons why but I know you and you got to make it on your own but we don't have to grow up we can stay forever young living on my sofa drinking rum and cola beneath the rising sun I could give a thousand Okay, so in the past few weeks, I've been uh, using uh, using this mic, I've been getting incredible results, and uh, really, what I've 
got here just really blew me away. I'm going to play it again, and I want you to, to pay attention to how well the Kolaris handles s- syllabants. Uh, the S's aren't jumping out, and it's almost like they try to jump out, but they still sound controlled. Uh, that's one of the, the first things that stuck out to me. Uh, the next thing is just the amount of clarity that I'm getting in this microphone, as well as the tone. A very uh, nice, rich, full, thick sound that I'm getting from the microphone with the clarity as well. And it's interesting because normally the tone and clarity, I have to choose one or the other. And this microphone really gives you both. Uh, So I'm going to play it one more time and just really pay attention to the S's that you hear uh, in this vocal and just hear how they are. um, You know, there's zero harshness at all with this microphone up there in the, up there in, in the higher frequencies. And it's just really smooth. Let's take one more listen. Stay Waiting for the time to pass you by Hope the winds of change will change your mind I could give a thousand reasons why But I know you And you got to Make it on your own but we don't have to grow up Drinking rum and cola Need the rising sun I could give a thousand reasons why But you're going And you know that All you have to do is Stay a minute Take your time The clock is ticking All right, and another thing that that you'll notice here as well is the vocal sounds so good that I really don't have to do anything to it in the mix. Um, I'm not listening to this back hearing major EQ cuts or boosts that I'll need to do to make this vocal sound good. It sounds good as it is recorded. A really great thing to have from a great microphone. So let's move on to the the next example, which is going to be some uh, rap vocals. So this is a producer rapper uh, here in Nashville named Trax Beats, and I'll put his IG here for you to check him out. Uh, The vocal chain for uh, these vocals are uh, the Kolaris into a, a Chandler Limited Little Devil Pre into a JDK V12 uh, for a few dB of compression on the way in. And uh, just like with the female vocal, we'll take a listen to this and then we'll discuss it. Let's go for alcohol. Order up some bottles, then pass them to my dogs. This is the last call for alcohol. Got Henny on the rocks, a couple shots for bros. Hey, we just hit the club. Yeah. Bitches is still working. They hit the dance floor and they still over there twerking. Know a couple trap niggas in the cut working and serving, but still we up in this bitch early. We need a box with the sparkles, what the models. You see, we over here thug. What's the problem? He ain't been too many things that's going on. Except a cup full of this hip patron that's going on. Hey, hey, I just think it's getting strong in it, bitch. Hey, my nigga roll. Up a pound of strong in it, bit. Hey, now they hit the club, man. I thought they finna strip. Hey, she was asking for that money. Who got a tip? Hey, okay. So, here with the rap vocal again, we've got a, a strong, uh, thick vocal, uh, nice, smooth, low mids as well. And again, no high end harshness. Uh, the high end doesn't sound hyped. Uh, I hear like maybe one S poking through, but again, uh, the syllabus is really smooth and the Kolaris handles syllabus uh, very well. It's not something I listen to and immediately think I need to grab a de which is really good. Uh, like the uh, female vocals, 
I really don't hear a lot of EQ. I do hear some EQ that I would do to this here. I'd maybe try to just get a little more clarity in the low mids with an EQ. Uh, but for the most part, this isn't a vocal I'm going to have to uh, butcher with EQ to get it to sound good. Raw getting a, already getting a great sound uh, just coming uh, from the microphone. Uh, we'll take a listen to it one more time. Let's go for alcohol. Order up some bottles, then pass them to my dogs. This is the last call for alcohol. Got Henny on the rocks, a couple shots for bros. Hey, we just hit the club, yeah. bitches is still working. They hit the dance floor and they still over there twerking. Know a couple trap niggas in the cut working and serving, but still we up in this bitch early. We need a box with the sparkles, what the models. You see, we over here thug. What's the problem? He ain't been too many things that's going on. Except a cup full of this hip patron that's going on. Hey, hey, I just think it's getting strong in it, bitch. Hey, my nigga roll up a pound of strong in it, bitch. Hey, now they hit the club, man. I thought they finna strip. Hey, she was asking for that money. Who got a tip? Hey, feel all right, and the artist was very uh, pleased with the sound from the microphone, and he realized a, a difference uh, from uh, the normal microphone we use in that studio as soon as he spoke into it. You know, he could hear the difference there with uh, the Kolaris. And, you know, again, the Kolaris is giving really uh, great, really great clarity there uh, on the vocal. Uh, let's move over to some instruments. Let's take a listen to the Kolaris on saxophone. So let's take a listen to the Kolaris on saxophone now. The signal chain for this is the Kolaris into an Elysia Sculptor. I'm not using any of the shape or uh, tone capabilities on it, just so we can get a, a clean signal from the preamp. So you can hear the, the full range of the Kolaris there from the low notes up to the high here on this saxophone. And uh, for the last example, we're going to uh, listen to the Kolaris on some bass. So for the last example, we'll listen to the Kolaris on bass. Uh, so I mic'd this bass with the Kolaris into a Chandler Limited TG2. And in this example, we'll take a listen to the Kolaris uh, with and without the pad. Uh, to show you the different tones you can get there. Uh, so we'll start with uh, the Kolaris uh, with no pad. Now let's listen to the Kolaris with the pad on. So with this, we've added the 10 dB pad and uh, we increased uh, 10 dB of gain on the TG2. Thank you. 
And lastly, I'm going to switch between the two tracks so you can hear the immediate difference. So there's a great example of the Kolaris with and without the pad on that bass. Really more aggressive, fuller song, uh, uh, fuller sound without the pad. And uh, with the pad, getting a little cleaner sound. Uh, both still great sounds and easy to use and would fit nicely in a mix. Uh, so, you know, to sum up the Kolaris, uh, I was extremely impressed with using this microphone and it, all of the... Uh, artists and musicians that I used this microphone on all complimented the sound, which is not something that happens all the time. You know, a lot of times uh, the artist or the musician just lets me, you know, sit back and do my thing with the recording. But, you know, all of them uh, complimented the sound of this microphone, which I think is a huge thumbs up to Roswell. So, you know, with the tone and the clarity that the Kolaris provides on top of it with, you know, no harshness in the high mids, handle syllabins very well, handle syllabins better than any of the other microphones that I have now, and which is why I'll certainly be purchasing one of these microphones. And I'll probably even purchase this review unit that I have here because uh, you know, after using it the past few weeks, it's just something that I have to have in my mic locker. It doesn't sound uh, anything like the mics I have now. And I could really see it being, you know, one of my top two choices for mics that I have uh, for vocals. Uh, so, you know, really impressed with this. If you're looking for a mic in the thousand dollar to fifteen hundred dollar range, I'd highly recommend you check out the check out this Kolaris. So, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>